<clears throat> We're going to solve the, this problem. This is about a gas station. Let's see first the diagram that represents the situation. In this diagram, we see that uh, we have a gas station with uh, cars arriving every one minute with an exponential distribution. Uh, from the arrival, the car decides uh, to form in one of eight uh, lines that are attended by four gas pumps. Uh, every gas pump has two lines to attend, one in each side of the pump. Uh, it can attend uh, one car at a time or two cars at a time and has a line, uh, a longitude of a queue of three cars. Three cars waiting in line and one car being attended. This is the situation. Uh, the attendance is uh, uh, the attention time. It's normal and it takes two minutes and a standard deviation of uh, 30 seconds or 0.5 minutes. Uh, once the car uh, gets attended, uh, exits the system. For this, we have this uh, layout in, in pro model uh, where uh, every two red machines represents one gas pump and the two pallets that we see over there are the uh, waiting lines. Uh, three cars in every pallet representing uh, the two queues that uh, every gas pump has. So from this point, I'm going to change to pro model to program this situation. This is the same layout as uh, we saw on, on the slide before. And we have two machines representing one gas pump and two pallets representing the queues. This pallet right here is the arrival pallet. If I go to the build uh, section and I open uh, build locations, we're going to see that the arrival pallet has a capacity of one because we only want to uh, accomplish the, the function of arriving and thinking for a second in which line we are going to uh, form. Then we decide in which of the eight lines we are going uh, to be attended and we decide by the longitude of that uh, line. Every line from line one what? to line eight has a capacity of or must have a capacity of three. I'm changing these two because there are uh, up to three cars waiting in line. Then we have the gas pumps. We can change the, the name to pump 1A, pump 2A, pump 1B, pump to B, I'm just getting this in order to continue, 1A, 1B for each side of the pump, then pump 3A, pump 3B, and to finish, we have pump 4A and pump 4B. Each of these pumps with a capacity of one car being attended at the time, at the same time. This is the uh, menu for build locations. Then I'm going to change to the menu for entities. And 
at this time the entities are going to be the cars I'm going to choose this figure right here and I'm leaving the name as car then I'm going to build the arrivals the car is going to arrive at the location that its name arrival quantity each one first time zero this means that the arrival process is going to start with the simulation infinite occurrences with a frequency of one minute exponential time no logic and not being disabled i'm going to save the problem then i'm going to the processing part the entity car that it's uh, the location arrival it's going to choose its routing between eight lines it's going to go to one of the eight lines depending on which of these lines have the most available spaces in them. This means that the longitude is the least longitude of them. So in the routing, I'm just opening the other seven routes for car from line two to line eight. And we can change this order as we want. I'm uh, just uh, leaving uh, the sequence of the lines from one to eight. Maybe it makes more sense to you to have uh, another sequence. And in every line, the rule is the same most available spaces here i i have a, an error this is not line five it's line six and we just need to tell line seven and line eight And I save the problem. If I return to the layout, I have eight options when I arrive uh, to the system. I have eight options to choose from the lines. Depending on uh, which is the shortest line, I'm going to go over there. Then, in process, I tell the car what to do in every uh, pump but before this i'm going to return a little bit to the presentation to the slides because i'm overseeing something that it's that with every pump we have an operator and we need to define uh, this in order to continue so i'm changing to uh, pro model again I'm going to the build uh, window and I'm choosing build resources. And if I have uh, four pumps, I'm going to have four operators. And I'm going to name that operator one, operator two, three, and four. Okay, so I created four operators to take care of the gas pumps, of the four gas pumps, representing each gas pump. Uh, we must uh, remember that every two red machines are one pump. So I return to the process. And I tell the car 
that when the car is in line one, is going to go to pump one A with rule of first. Then the car that is in pump one A the operation that it performs is that it uh, gets operator 1 then it's going to wait a little bit to take the order some 30 seconds this information is not in the problem but uh, we can add it because it's uh, needed in order to uh, simulate uh, exactly the, the, the process that takes uh, part in, the, in this uh, process. So we get, get in singular, get an operator, we wait three seconds, that's when we tell the operator uh, how much gas we are going to charge. We free the operator, so it's available to uh, attend another, another car, another, another pump, another transaction then it, it, uh, it's the uh, charge of the gas time and it's normal with a mean of two minutes and a standard deviation of 0.5 then the operator returns and it's uh, the closing part of the process where uh, he, he charges for the uh, gas that we uh, buy, bought. So we compile this. This uh, part of the process is when the operator takes the order. This part of the process is the charging of the uh, gas. We don't need the operator uh, to be with the car in the charging process, but we need it once the, the charging process is ended to uh, take a, a part of the ending of the process. This is the ending of the process. This is uh, going to be the same uh, thing that we are going to do in all uh, the other pumps. So I'm just going to uh, end this part of the of the problem and uh, you are going to repeat this for all the pumps and then you are going to uh, simulate it uh, as a whole so once we charge the gasoline the car is uh, going to the exit and this will be the end of the process for this pump, we are going to repeat the same operation from the line to the pump, charging the gas, and then exiting the gas station for every other uh, pump, for all the, the, the other seven pumps. And this is where I'm going to leave uh, this uh, video for 